Hey guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to do batch rendering. So that's basically if you have a couple of clips or um, yeah, you have a couple of clips but you don't want to press file render as all over again and render, want to render all your clips but you still want them uh, in separate files so that it's not all one file. Um, that's pretty useful if you want to send your clips to an editor or something. So um, yeah, I will show you how to do that. So first of all, you will need a preset, um, a render settings preset. So I'm using Sony Vegas 11, so this might look a bit different. So yeah. So let's say uh, I want to render as MP4, main AVC, whatever, and I already have my preset here. So if you don't have one, uh, you just go to custom. It's on the right, and then you just. Uh, copy your settings, uh, copy my settings, or watch my uh, render settings tutorials, and yeah, these are basically my settings. And you have to uh, save it as a, a template. So to do that, you just write something here and hit save. So then, let's say, yeah, this first clip, um, because you don't want them like with random names and stuff, so you uh, just select, double click on your first clip and press R, and then you name this clip. Scrapyard uh, quad feed, and then the second clip. I press R, uh, double click again so that you have this loop selection. Uh, press R, and then skid row shotgun, and then you just do that with all your clips. And when you're done, you go to uh, tools, scripting, and batch render. So then you go to browse and you should make a new folder or something and to save them there. Um, and you select your um, your preset. So in my case it will be MP4 and then this preset. And then you go to render regions and click OK. And that's basically it. Then it will save all your files. And yeah, please like the video. Check out my other tutorials. I also have a tutorials playlist which will be in the description and on the screen. So yeah, like the video and bye.